Well, I want to give you one of the simplest, cheapest, most effective things you could do for your health that's actually beyond easy. It's actually easier than taking a pill. Now, I'm showing a cowboy from the Old West because um, even though this thing I'm talking about has been around since the 1800s, actually going back to the Middle Ages, one of the things that people didn't do back in the 1800s much was to take a bath. And uh, sometimes they even thought that taking a bath was unhealthy for you. So you could see what I'm getting on to here with the detox bath. Um, now, sodium bicarbonate, it's been around for a long time. It's actually been around for hundreds of years going back to the Middle Ages. But you're talking about Arm & Hammer. You know, it's been since 1872, I believe. or No, 1867, excuse me. 1867. Um, <clears throat> now, people did know about the baking soda baths way back when. But, um, you know, the one thing you really don't, you know, a lot of people just didn't even have the means to take a bath. And um, <clears throat> one of the problems was also, like, say, like, during the 1920s, civilization was really on the fast track, you know, with the electric light bulbs coming out in the cars and Ford production, and more and more people had running water in their houses. Not that many, though. Even then, a lot of people just took a bath maybe once a week, once every two weeks, once a month. I think once a week was a real lot way back then back in the 1920s. Then right after that, 1930s, we had economic collapse. So a lot of people weren't even thinking about, you know, the health benefits of baking soda. And then during the 1930s, during this economic collapse, actually a lot of, a lot of time a lot of the pharmaceuticals really came on a lot stronger. We they, they moved very strongly away from a natural medicine. Now, I know that the natural medicine competition and pharmaceutical medicine was going on for quite some time before the 1930s, but in the 1930s, it really moved towards pharmaceutical medicines. Now, <clears throat> I want to talk about this uh, baking soda bath. Now, there's a lot of different variations on it, actually. You could take baking soda alone, and, and that's really all you need. So, by your bathtub, you should have baking soda. And actually, baking soda, you ought to use it for a deodorant or whatever. Sprinkle it on you after a shower, even if you're taking showers. But what happens is, you see, with baking soda, it's sodium bicarbonate. And it's not the sodium that's the big miracle. It's the bicarbonate ion. The bicarbonate ion is an electron donor. Now, when you're saying electron donor, that is not just detox. It's also, well, it's also fighting, neutralizing uh, free radicals, but it's also charging the body, um, and it's also changing the pH of the body. Now, to go to a negative, you know, alkaline pH is the same as saying to go to a uh, negative voltage, and a healthy cell has approximately one half volt negative voltage, which is alkaline. It's to say the same thing, but by taking a bath, since so. You know, your skin is an organ, so the skin is actually reacting with the baking soda, and it's affecting how well, you know, the, the sodium bicarbonate is entering your body. Now, the sodium is not the real thing that's doing the job. Again, it's the bicarbonate. Now, if you really want to get into some of the stuff that use it in the medical, a lot of people don't realize that all chemotherapy is... A, is delivered with sodium bicarbonate, all chemotherapy. So a lot of times online I'm hearing these people saying, oh, it's sodium bicarbonate doesn't do anything and all this kind of stuff. Well, they have to give it, this is a, I don't know if, you know, I don't know how commonly well known it is. And I don't, I never heard anybody in the internet say it even. And, you know, I checked this out actually with my mom too. She's an RN, she knows a lot of stuff. And she says, yeah, that's true, it's true. It's, uh, but, you know, I read it in the books, you know, the medical books from the doctors. And I don't think anybody's putting it out here on YouTube. So you hear about baking soda being combined with maple syrup or molasses and, you know, anti-cancer treatment. Yes, that's true. But also, even the chemotherapy treatments that are out there they have to provide the chemotherapy with the baking soda or else the, the chemotherapy would be lethal or very detrimental to the body. So that tells you the doctors do know about this stuff. As a matter of fact, 
even the dialysis, when people go in there and have kid, renal failure, they have you know problems with their kidneys, they're on dialysis machines, a lot of times during the dialysis they're administering baking soda too. Now, it's there's if you were in an emergency room and you had a real problem, they can actually intravenously give you baking soda, but that's a little that gets kind of dangerous, you know. But the other option is to just take the bath in the baking soda water. Now, what you can also do, you know, there's different combinations. Some people say, I mean, you know, it's not people. It's like there's different remedies out there. Sometimes it's just baking soda, and that's really all you need. But you can take baking soda, Epsom salts, and, um, you know, apple cider vinegar even together, and sea salt, and that could be a great combination. In other words, a quarter cup of each, and, um, in other words, a quarter cup being two ounces of baking soda with two ounces of sea salt, and uh, two ounces of, um, what did I say before, the other thing, not just apple, not just organic apple cider vinegar, but Epsom salt. So, the thing is that, you know, people are ignoring this. Now, today, everybody's got this stuff easy to buy. You can buy it anywhere. It's dirt cheap. Everybody takes, either, well, most people take showers versus, versus baths today. But even if you took a shower, if you used a little bit, sprinkled a little bit of this baking soda on you afterwards and rubbed it into your skin, it would still be very useful. But today, everybody has bathtubs. And they could take baths, and everybody's got easy access to buying baking soda. Before, back in the 1800s, before the products were on the market, they used to have to combine ingredients to make baking soda. But, you know, another thing, like I said, you can also add apple, organic apple cider vinegar to the mix. Now, that would probably be one of my more better recommendations, but in Epsom salt to the mix. Sea salt, yeah, maybe maybe that might be okay too, but mainly you want to concentrate on the baking soda. The fact that it's not the sodium in the baking soda that's the big healer, it's the bicarbonate. So you got four parts bicarbonate to one part sodium. And there's, in reality, you could never have enough bicarbonate. I mean... You really can't. And we were exposed to so many different toxins and so many different bad things. You can never you can never O D on this stuff. But I guess I have to warn you though that if you are taking the bath in the uh, you know, the baking soda water and you want to really mix it up really good, this the first several times you're doing this, uh, just be forewarned, like if you're gonna take a bath and try to go drive someplace or whatever it is, you might feel a little dizzy because it's going to detox the heck out of you um, and you're probably going to feel the effects of that so just be forewarned you know the first time you try this um, I mean it's not you might, might feel sluggish dizzy whatever a little tired or something like that right after you take this detox bath because it's it's knocking out everything that's bad in your body so I just want to forewarn you on it it is very 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 effective because you could stay in that bath a long time, and what's going to happen is it's just going to react with you know the, one of your, your largest organ, which is your skin, and it's going to neutralize everything, and it's going to impart that ion and charge the body. Now, also when you're saying talking about charging the cell, cells of the body, um. And this is really why bicarbonate, really, it's not sodium bicarbonate, it's the bicarbonate, in which baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. So baking soda, like I said, is four parts bicarbonate to one part sodium. It's really the bicarbonate that has the real anti-cancer properties. Because here's the other side of it, and you probably don't hear this in books often, or even on the internet, but um, as it's donating its ion, it's also you know, changing the charge of the cell. So the, a healthy cell, like I said before, has a, roughly a half of ne volt negative charge. But as a cell dies, the cellular voltage goes from a half a volt to a quarter volt. And then when it's cancerous, it's like near zero, and that's, it's a dead cell, you know. So what's going on here is it's charging up the battery. So as it does that, it's like turning potentially cancerous cells into good cells again again now the other thing is baking soda has great potential 
to anti-age. It could be especially good for your skin. Any kind of skin problems, any kind of itching, flaking on your skin, whatever the hell it is, age spots, you name it. The fact that you're taking a bath in this and it's actually imparting that um, electrical charge to whatever skin ailment you have, it's going to reverse that. So I'm showing a picture of Marilyn Monroe. She would have loved knowing this. I don't know if she knew about it. Who the hell knows? But you know what happened to her. Anyway, uh, and I don't think it was suicide anyway, but it's just a, that's, a, that's another story here. But, you know, it's like you could preserve yourself, whatever you want to be, and be anti-aging and reverse aging, as a matter of fact, because any of your cells that are not up to par that are losing some of their voltage. And actually what I'm saying is you're losing the voltage. You know, it's going from a half a volt to um, a quarter volt negative. What's going on there is actually it's the alkalinity is dropping. It's not going, it's going towards acidic as it's losing its voltage. And it's also lowering the vibrational frequency of those cells. So that's another indication of how healthy a cell is. Each human cell, it's like a battery. That, it's almost like a little frequency, and it's got a frequency going. It's all related. Voltage and alkalinity, has, you know, it's the same synonymous. It's synonymous. It's saying the same thing. So when the baking soda imparts that uh, bicarbonate ion into all the skin cells, it's causing the voltage to uh, go to the correct voltage, uh, which is, you know, half a volt negative. And that's why these bad spots in your skin will disappear after a while. And like I said, if you add the apple cider, the apple cider vinegar, probably the organic apple cider vinegar, would probably be the best thing to add after the baking soda. And I, I guess after that would be Epsom salt and sea salt. I'm just saying in order of importance. So your longevity could be astronomically longer than you imagine. Your beauty could be much longer. Your youthfulness, your vitality, you know, how good a health you're in for, you know, problems. And the doctors know about this stuff. I mean, a pharmaceutical... Well, actually, wait a minute. i got to backtrack on that. The doctors know about some of this stuff, and it varies about... It varies how much the medical doctors actually know. But I could say, by and large... The vast majority of doctors don't know all the benefits of the baking soda because they've only been taught in school what's profitable. Baking soda is, I mean, it's cheap. For, I mean, if, if it was going back the way it used to be sold, even here in the 1950s and 60s and 40s, you know, when they're selling 25, 50-pound boxes of the stuff, it was even cheaper back down. Now they sell little boxes, you know. Back then, you can get it really cheap, relatively speaking, even compared to the value of the dollar, because they had the bulk sizes. Now, if you can, you can also get bulk size. Just, to, just want to add this, baking soda, um, sometimes through the swimming pool suppliers. That's where you could sometimes get huge amounts of it. Sometimes, um, because I know, like, if you go in a supermarket. They got these little boxes, and it's way up there on the top shelf, and you're like, where the hell is this stuff? And it's still dirt cheap, but if you're going to start using it a real lot, you might want to get a 25-pound box of it or something, or a 50-pound box, maybe a 25-pounder, easier to pick up, and not just get a little one-pound box of the stuff, you know. Um, but it's it's got potential beyond belief. And like I said, when you're taking this bath in the baking soda solution, in of warm water, it's not only affecting your skin, but affecting your entire body. You can rapidly, ch like somebody's got the wrong pH in their body, you could rapidly change that within a matter of a couple weeks. And other methods, like the oral administration of baking soda can help, and brushing your teeth can help. But actually, the detox bath is the fastest way to fix it. But then I got to warn you again that when you're doing this detox bath, you might feel, especially the first few times you're doing it, you might feel tired, even dizzy, um, or whatever, sluggish, and you'll wonder what the hell's going on. It's because you got detoxed so fast. 
So, you know, you might want to try it for 10 minutes the first time or whatever. And just be prepared. You might want to sleep it off a little bit, too. It's like, you know, if you've got to take a trip in a car or something, you've got to you do this right away. You might not want to do this right before you take a trip in a car, okay? Because you might be zoned out a little bit. I'm not saying that's going to happen to everybody, but it, it'll, it'll it, more than likely, if you've got a lot of toxins, the first time you try this, you're probably going to feel kind of tired. But that's telling you it's working. And, and, and as you fix your balance of your pH and you remove your toxins, you're not going to have that problem. Now, people today, like I said, they, they, can, they have the ability now to, you know, they got, everybody's got plumbing, hot water, and all that. They can take a bath every day and do this every single day. I think you're long, I, I don't want to make a, too much of a claim here, but I think that would actually literally add decades to your life, and you would be much, much younger the whole time. I don't want to make an exact claim here about exactly what it's going to do, but I think it would be mind-boggling what it would do because nobody's really doing it. Nobody's really doing it because nobody really knows about it. It's like they know some things, and they take a detox bath maybe every few months, even of the people that know about it. But if you're doing this every day, I think you might be extremely youthful, and you're going to reverse age, and you're going to your, any skin problems you have are going to go away completely. So that's my hot tip for today. And I tell you what, um, it's don't underestimate it. Don't underestimate it. Like I said, people back in the 1800s, they started, you know, the medical people knew about the effects of baking soda. Um, and they knew how good it was. They, everything, you know, well, you know, even before the 1800s. But you know, if you just go back to the 1800s, nobody was taking baths. I mean, they would sometimes they wouldn't take a bath for a year. Uh, some people thought it was unhealthy to take a bath, for real. And um, just as a side note, I forgot the guy's name. He was 150 something years old. This was in not to do with baking soda per se, but he was. Uh, there was healing waters in the Pine Barrens of New Jersey, and he used to have the they used to call it the waiting pool, and there was like some kind of uh, it's like very pure glacier type water that was uh in, in, it had the pine needles uh, you know whatever microscopic elements in it and he was using that he lived to be over 150 years old it was some like uh doctor back in the 1800s and used to have people wait in his pool so don't underestimate the power of healing bass and that's exactly what this stuff is it's not just a little fad and it's dirt cheap. I mean, you know, a couple ounces of baking soda is what's that going to run you, pennies? So I think um, I'm telling something to people that, um, you know, it could. You know, I don't even want to claim that it could reverse cancer, but it might. It might because, to tell you the truth, cancers are aggravated by toxins, and if you remove the things that cause the cancers, which is detoxification through the um, bisodium bicarbonate bath, you will lessen the effects of cancer. I don't want to say it's a cure for cancer, but the things that cause cancer and cause it to multiply worst, which is toxins, the, the sodium bicarbonate bath will help the, greatly to remove from the body. So is that dirt cheap? Is that a miracle from 50 different which ways from Sunday? You betcha.